Hello, I'm Bob Dickinson, and we're looking at the um, Visual Studio interface to the SWIM 5 C code. The way it's set up is that there's a series of header files and then C, C files. So the main file is uh, SWIM5.C. Click on SWIM5.C, it shows you a history of that. Set up for Windows is also set up for um, Windows Console. It uh, defines all the various um, parameters and it runs the model basically. So it, it, it opens the files, closes the files, and calls the various various um, input files. Um, other parts that are that are key are um, the um, input files. So input C is that one. Interface for making interface files. But basically uh, EPA and Lou Rosman have made a very good um, names for these so they're pretty clear. Culvert will be the FHWA culverts. Controls would be the RTC controls for the uh, program. You can see all the different controls here. So, if you really want to get into the inside look at what SWIM 5 does, you really could really can learn a lot by looking at the very well constructed C code. How do you run this? Well, you build it. You build a model, and then under projects, you go to um, link properties. So you define what you're, where you're releasing it to, what version of the studio you're using. Um, go to linker, it tells you where you're building this, this file. So you can make incremental changes, make some other changes, compile your own version, and, and away you go. So this is done in um, basically any version of um, the free Visual Studio Express after 2008. Um, this one is vi um, Visual Studio Express 2012. So you can look at this. So for example, if you wanted to look at the, the um, L LID code, very nice, nicely documented. It tells you what the um, LID layers are, what the uh, cell, cells are for the uh, different uh, LID features. A dynamic wave is under dynamic wave. And it's also set up now for multiprocessing. That's under DW flow. Kinematic wave is under kinematic wave. Force main, very nice force main r routines in SWIM 5. And force main.c explains all of, all of that. Other things that are important, actually they're all important, but are other things are the stats, the, the runoff. Runoff explains how uh, the runoff is generated using the nonlinear reservoir routing. So that's a brief look at um, SWIM 5 C code. You can download this from the EPA SWIM website. Um, it's, it's free, public domain, open source, so you can make modifica modifications if you're a student or if you want to make um, other, other features. So, Good luck, and, um, and basically is pretty simple to use. Thank you.